Good old Graham. Good old Graham. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. Instagram. All right, y'all. I spent about almost three hours on live with y'all. Almost three hours on live with y'all. I appreciate talking to y'all. I'm almost done. Queen Crispy, I know. That's what happens. I've been on there almost three hours because I haven't been on social media in so long. I wanted to give the people a chance. I want to talk to y'all. I got I to gotta see y'all. Um, Sister Scorpio Goddess, hop on here so I can talk to you really quick. And there was another person who said they need this. Somebody said, man, I need something. One of y'all is saying something here, so. I'll hop on really quick, really quick. I'll be on there just for a few more minutes, and I got to go because your brother got to get some sleep with Scorpio Goddess. Hop on here. All right. Right now, uh, it is 2 o'clock here. It's 2 o'clock where I am. And it's, my brother said it's 10 p.m. over in Japan. I'm like, dang. I know. I'm about to go to bed in a second. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's hop on here. Here we go. Um, let me see. All right, here we go. Um, all right, hold on. I'm trying to see. Where is this person at? All right, I'm trying to find Scorpio Goddess because y'all saying, oh my God, add her, add her. All right. It's 520. Okay, first off, everybody check in. Tell me where you are watching from. Denver, Colorado is 325 out there, Sister Mina. All right. Where you get your chain from, though? That's that exclusive, son. That's that exclusive right there. Bow. And these are also exclusive. Bow, bow, exclusive. The chain I'm possibly going to have available on my website, but a brother made that for me. Five. I got like 10 minutes, y'all, 10 minutes. Ugh. Let's get 10 more people in 10 minutes. Hi. <laughs> Peace, sister. How you doing? Oh, my God. I'm so nervous. I'm so blessed to be on the phone right now. Oh, my gosh. Hi, everybody. You got your, um, you got your bonnet on and everything. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm coming live from D.C. I'm from D.C. But Beautiful. I'm right now. Um, you say you're at work I right now? I have, like, huh? You said you're at work right now? No, I'm laying down. I'm going to say I'm from... Oh, Michigan. I was like, girl, you at work with your bonnet on? <laughs> I'm no. like, girl, all right. <laughs> um, I just have, like, some quick things I just want to throw okay. out there for people to be aware of. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like, one, we are still in a race war, and a lot of people are yes. not there. Um, yeah. And I feel like it's something that, that has never stopped. Um, a lot of people do not understand yes. when it comes to the police thing. People don't understand that a lot of policemen are a part of the KKK. And yes. it's just like, when you don't know these things, and it's just like, okay, when you see the KKK used to go around and stuff like that and hurt mm -hmm. people and taunt them, but then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, years after that, they end up becoming, you know, the police department. So it's just yes. like, now you're the police department. What gives people the right to really think and believe that we can trust them for them uh -huh. to, like, just, you know, help? And this is like you cannot call, facts. yeah, you cannot call on these people and they're being rude and being bad. Like I was walking down the street with one of my friends, and it was me and another female and one of my male friends. And he was mm -hmm. between both of us. And the, literally the cops pulled up, and we thinking that they're gonna, you know, jump out on somebody else because we're walking through a, you know, a live neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And my thing is it's other people down the street that's doing criminal things, but you saw people that's not doing nothing. We're mm -hmm. walking, they pull up, hopped out. It was one Korean man, one black man, one white man, and some other lady. I don't know what she was. I didn't pay attention. I just noticed the man walking up. Mm -hmm. They walked up, but my friend was like, do you have a gun? And they tried, like, try to jack him. So I nicely, like, put a perimeter around. I was like, you're not going to touch him. You're mm -hmm. not going to, you're not going to put his, you put your hands on him. You're not going to touch him. He has a child home and he has to get back to him. You're not about to put your hands on him. Like, so mm -hmm. it's just like certain things like that. They're very disrespectful, but they act yes. like they care and they don't. And what really blows me is that a lot of black people who join the police department, they know these things. So it's like, yes. how can you join an association that was once against your people that never, you know, excuse my language, never gave a fuck about anybody? So it's just True. like, how? And then another thing, when it comes to immigration, 
The mm -hmm. first immigrants ever were white people. I don't care who's in the That's right. The first immigrants were white people. <laughs> and another problem the truth, that, sis. And so when a lot of people be like, oh, why can't African Americans get reparations? Well, because we were stolen. We were not, this mm -hmm. wasn't our land. America was not our land. We was in Africa. Native Americans mm -hmm. was here. And what, what kills me is when you're applying for a job application, it breaks down mm -hmm. all the races. And I've been wanting to tell, I never heard no outlet to tell people this, but I'm so glad I'm mm -hmm. up here. When you break mm -hmm. down all these races, the first thing it asks you, are you Hispanic or are you Latino? And then it asks you again. True. But then when you're reading it, it's like, Oh, well, if you're not this race, then you have to be Asian, black, white. And then it tells yes. the origins of where the people are from. Mm -hmm. It threw me off with the white people because it said Middle East and Europe and North Africa. So I'm like, hold on. Stop mm -hmm. me. Hold on. I said, since when? <laughs> I said, because last time I checked, you know, I went to private schools since I was from like second and ninth grade. And mm -hmm. I went to Christian and Catholic schools. I learned a lot. And for me growing up to like be in those type of predicaments to learn about the Bible and stuff, I fell mm -hmm. apart from it because I learned so much. The first private school I went to was called St. Benedict the Moor. And a lot of people yes, he yes. was more he that was, that's he right. over to the Lutheran church to teach people about more practices. And a lot of black people yes. don't know that this right here, you were called <laughs> This girl patted her people. head. We are, we are the darkest people. We are the original people. Before that's people real. sit here and be like, Oh, God, this and that. No, we had a whole Bible during slavery yes. that said the Negro Bible had to enslave slaves. There's mm -hmm. no way that black people to this day in society can still go to church. If money is so evil, why the mm -hmm. hell are they collecting mm -hmm. it inside of the church? Some churches start until so they get at least $20 in the bucket. I don't go mm -hmm. to church. I don't condone it because it's money. If, evil, if, if money is evil, it should not be in there. And then my whole thing that's is like, Everybody, we're supposed to be Moors. As long as we, you know, we're supposed to be straight mm -hmm. here. They mm -hmm. took that and they broke that. I never understood how that slavery. You didn't want us to read or write, but you gave us a mm -hmm. Bible to read to learn about our faith and how we were supposed to be protected and this is how we're supposed exactly. to be. No, that book was to keep us from whooping their ass. That book was <laughs> made for us not to kill their ass. A lot of people, they True. don't want to talk about how some of the slaves did rebel, like Nat Turner. Right. Yeah, they yep. killed him because he was whooping ass. So That's right. people have to wake up and understand like what is really going on around here <laughs> and then for all the white people to be like oh that it's one lady that was in your life and she was like oh we're all human listen last time i checked we were not human to your people your people put us out there in the sunlight so we can work for y'all and we build up this damn nation that we have mm -hmm. to pay taxes for that we cannot get paid for all because black people cannot get paid in reparations because we were stolen only Come people on. the only way we can get paid reparations because if oh, oh, let me get it together because i'm about to go off the only <laughs> way and, I, and i'm gonna paid, hop on with somebody else but keep i got you sis go ahead finish your I'm point sorry, I'm, about to, I'm about to finish that the only way we can get yes, paid if we if we um claim our tribal affiliation through native americans a lot of people do not know that that's the only way mm -hmm. we're going to get paid because why that is a point white people took the land from native americans and then what's mm -hmm. so crazy in north america we have canada america and mexico how the Hell, can you build a wall in the middle of a part of the <laughs> land that is connected? North America That's right. is almost connected to South America. I mean, so, um, I can't even get it mm -hmm. out. It's almost connected mm -hmm. to South America. There's no way. There's there's no way you're building a wall. They're trying to put us in. Mexicans are lit. You know? Yeah. That's and family. For them to that's say family. Christopher Columbus found America, there's a lot of things that's mixed in with a lot of bullshit. And I understand why white people don't want Mexicans or Latinos in America because why? At one point in time, you guys were working with them. Now you don't mm -hmm. want them near you. All you want them to do is build things and do labor and kick them <laughs> out. And then I had one Spanish person tell me, they was like, oh, well, we helped build everything. I said, excuse you, the hell you mm -hmm. didn't. I said, my <sighs> people, my ancestors that were slinging uh, spiritual, you know, we don't have to do this. We built this nation. We That's built right. this damn nation. Our ancestors mm -hmm. built this nation. They got That's work. right. And now for that white lady to say that we bleed the same, honey, no, we don't. Our ancestors took about 40 licks to the goddamn back while tied up. And they had mm -hmm. guts and they still survived. I don't think mm -hmm. no white person can survive that. No, they, they can't. can't survive that. We have <laughs> been can't. living for over all these times and centuries. They don't want to admit that their race is dying out. You're going extinct. That's right. And it's the That's truth. Right. They don't want to hear the truth. 
once you mess with a certain group of people, you have to deal with the consequences that come with it. Leave us alone. Right. You should have never bothered us in the first place. Now we get to bother you. Anybody that's going to come at me, I'm straight at that ass. Now, everybody, y'all have a good night or a good day wherever you at, because I know he got to go for this live and get somebody else. Um, I appreciate you, sis. I'm blessed for you to hear my voice and hear what I have to say. And <laughs> you stay blessed, and you keep speaking positively to all us and keeping us woke, because I make sure I tune in every time you post something. So Thank you so much, yes. sis. So y'all have a that's good night. That's what I'm night. talking about. Yeah, so stay safe. And you too, love, sis. Love. Mm -hmm. And keep that fire. Keep that I'm fire. We need that. Y'all watch That's out right. for TV because I'm going to be an activist out here one day soon. Yes, you I will. Have the time for the bull crap. And Donald Trump. <laughs> Is he watching? <laughs> All right, sister. All right, Pete. That sister, she like, God damn it. It's two in the morning. And I'm lit. I'm turned. <laughs> I love it. I love y'all, man. I'm, I'm serious. She spoke nothing but facts. She spoke nothing but facts. Uh, when it comes to the reparations, just a slight point on what the sister was saying. Um, going through the native treaties, tribal treaties for the land, yes, is a faster way for us to be able to get our reparations because we, for the majority, we are and we're the Native Americans. Sis spoke nothing but facts. That's how it is. So I love when I love when when the black woman speaks her mind and just speaks the truth, nothing but facts, and she doesn't water it down. Y'all keep doing that. Next person, real quick, real quick, real quick. All right, y'all, let's try to keep it to a minute now, y'all. I'm trying to got like 10 more people to jump in here real quick. Keep it to a minute. I'm going to let y'all say y'all thing. Where you at here? Um, Coop XO. Coop XO. Oh, shit. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to keep it quick. I'm going to keep it <laughs> You quick. in here, bro. <laughs> All right, so I'm 20 years old. I'm from, uh, I'm originally from uh, um, Chester, Pennsylvania, but um, I currently reside in Willow Street, Pennsylvania. Okay. I just wanted to say I appreciate everything you've done, everything you're doing. Um, I'm, I appreciate you, originally brother. only found you from, unfortunately, what happened to Nipsey, but I learned, yes, I learned so much from you, and I'm, I just want you to keep going. I am transitioning to something that you're doing. But I'm taking it slowly through poetry and all this yeah. stuff and all these different programs. Um, I thank you for your messages and I'll keep listening and keep doing your thing. My brother, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate your words and absolutely keep doing your thing because we need more people to keep helping and to get involved. So yeah. just know that whatever you are doing is helping. So keep doing it. And like, like you said, you're transitioning. Take your time. Don't take too much time. Hell yeah. You know, but but take your time, keep moving and do whatever you can to help in the evolution of our people, man. Just keep pushing. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, brother. All right. Peace. Uh, person real quick. Next person is Hebron Hebron official. Real quick, y'all. Thank you all for keeping it to a minute, y'all. I'm, I'm getting y'all in. I'm getting y'all in. All right. <sighs> I got to go to the mosque in the morning, y'all. I got to go to the mosque. Ah, yes, my brother. sir. <laughs> we made it. Yes. Finally. I know, man. We made it. We made it. <laughs> All right, look. I got questions for you. But again, yes, like, my questions are going to be different from anybody you spoke to. Gotcha. First and foremost, I am not Muslim. Not a problem. I you, am still, you still my brother. You Mormon. Oh, that's good. All right. All right. My Mormon, Mormon brother. Yes, sir. So, so I've been listening, like since I like I've been listening to you guys for about two hours now. But here's yes, my sir. deal: like again, I'm Mormon. My church is predominantly white, right? Yep. You know that. Like I'm pretty sure you Absolutely. have some information on the Mormon church. Yes, sir. But are you in Utah? No. Like since I've been a member of this church, and I've been a member for five, six years now, mm -hmm. it's like as much as we want to take the time out to blame everything on the white man, which in fact we do. We didn't. We didn't want to come mm -hmm. over here. We were enslaved for 300 years. I understand that. But I personally mm -hmm. feel like I personally feel like the way that we're attacking this situation is completely wrong. Because if we mm -hmm. look at the structure system, white people are at the top, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Jewish part. Yeah, Jewish, but white. Mm -hmm. so, so to, yeah, so to an extent, white people are at the top. And I personally feel like, and again, this may come out as a cop-out answer, but I personally feel like mm -hmm. With the situation at hand, and we are, like the sister did say, we are dying out a lot. I've had some friends being killed by the cops as well. But the mm -hmm. thing is, instead of looking at it as, I hate this person because they're white, 
or because mm -hmm. they shot my brother and things like that. What can we learn to progress our people? Mm -hmm. So personally, I took the challenge. Okay. And again, I come from Birmingham, Alabama, and Detroit, Michigan. I've lived in the hood all my life. I've been robbed, shot mm -hmm. at, fought, all those different things. And now I'm in Utah, where again, mm -hmm. it's predominantly white people. But the opportunities that, that have been presented to me in the mm -hmm. last year, I would never have had these opportunities given the fact that I stayed in Birmingham or, or Detroit, Michigan. So okay. personally, me, I feel like instead of us having all this hostility and anger towards a whole group of people and pointing out saying, it's the white man, it's the white woman, all white mm -hmm. people are wrong. But if, if I if I were to have that same opinion, I wouldn't be in the situation that I am in now. Like I wouldn't be in college. I would Gotcha. Because of, yeah, because of you being, because of I what you were given and the opportunities that you were helped with, is what you're saying. It wasn't for a white person helping me. Gotcha. Okay. Well, first of all, brother, I'll say this, and everybody who's listening, chill out, y'all. <laughs> our brother came in here, and, and, and I, mean, I appreciate again, not, you, brother. I'm not trying to, for, not trying to take up for, for people, but it's just... No, like, no, no, like, no. Gotta, no, no you, you just spoke your truth. Yeah, no, you, you spoke your truth, brother, and that's never a problem. That's never a problem. I, I appreciate you for having the courage to hop on here to speak your truth from I your perspective and from your that's experience. The funny thing. I don't have a white girlfriend. That's good. <laughs> that's good. And even if you did, right now, I just I just heard what you said. I just I'm listening to what you said and I'm 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 listening. So number one, you are demonstrating a classic example of the individualism. You were given opportunity and help. You were helped. And you're like, look, Correct. I was helped. Some white people helped me here, and not all of them are bad. And here's the other thing. I, I never said all white people this, and we hate white folks, and white folks. Yeah, that's but not that's the, what that's I said. That's the narrative that now, I've gotten through talking to people, like, or listening from what a lot of people are saying. From, like, from me, oh, you're saying? Are this. Not from you, but the other people that oh, you gotcha. brought into the live. Gotcha. Now, and again, that's because entitled to their own opinion. But again, of like, course, if we want to build our, our group up, our civilization. We want to build our people up. You can't mm -hmm. just go and say white people, this white people, that because you'll never get mm -hmm. in the door. You'll never well, get in the that's door. That's the well, that's that's the thing, brother. The door. The problem is when you want to get into a door rather than build your own house, it becomes uh -huh. a problem. I have that's no it. interest in entering into a door of somebody else's house. I want to build my own. Uh -huh. And that in no in no way means that I'm going to disrespect this white person because they have their own. Of course not. I'm proud of you. So, you have so your figure, own. So but I'm going to speaking, establish you my say own. Build your own door. Like, what have mm -hmm. that gotten us? Like, if you think about it, like I've read a whole article about a man, mm -hmm. a black man. He owned his own business, and cops mm -hmm. came in there and planted drugs in his business to get mm -hmm. his business shut down. So again, like mm -hmm. again, like it's almost like you got to play by the rules, or like you're just going to be ass out. You oh, no, 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 brother. That's again, I'm a black man from the West. So I come from Compton. I'm from the West Coast. Now you uh -huh. from you from Birmingham, Alabama. You're in the area where slavery was heavy, heavy, heavy. So exactly. the entire That's what I'm saying. very heavy. So the mentality is different. I have no fear of nobody, white, black, etc. And our mentality is different. We must establish our own everything we don't point at the white men and say he's the reason why everything is this way if you listen to what i say i absolutely say first of all black men stop killing one another that's the point number one right. number two if you stop killing one another then you'll be able to unite with one another and then white people will stop killing us because they will see that okay they respect each other and if i go try to kill one of these black dudes i'm gonna have to deal with all them black people see mutual respect will be understood and number three you have to establish your own everything. There is no way that you're going to get me or any brother or sister who has a level of intellect and integrity to say, I need to water down or I need to change the way I communicate or speak or maybe my mentality so that I can get in the door. Why do I need to get in the door when I can just establish my own and still because be respectful? You, but, but listen, when you and still be respectful of somebody own, else. They can have their own and we can have our own, own as well. But when you're saying establishing your own, like you can't, mm -hmm. I, I'm not saying like, again, I don't like, like talking in this way but when you say establishing your own like what makes you think that like the traditional normal african-american person has the opportunities like as other white americans you get what i'm saying to like be able well, to establish brother, your own or the information you're on live with a with someone who was not a traditional african-american person well that's true that's true like I i'm mean, not even but, close but again, and, and the people not... who follow our work we're not this is a new black man that, that you're dealing with here this okay. is something what you what you're looking at i am an oddity 
uh-huh. and you can become the same thing. Well, White yeah, people respect me when I walk in. Yeah, no, and that's, so I'm I'm helping you to understand. When I step into a building, white people respect me far more because they know I'm not coming in there trying to beg you for a damn thing. I am building my own. And guess what? Me building my own in no way means that I need to disrespect you because you have your own. You can have your own. And thank you for having your own. And guess what? I'm going to demonstrate to you that I have enough self-love, self-respect, self-awareness, self-dignity and pride and integrity to where I'm going to say, instead of begging you, I'm going to see how you did that. And I'm going to go ahead and build my own so that Mm -hmm. we can have mutual respect because only power respects power. But if I come to beg you for something and say, well, how about if I do this? Can you help me with this? Then you will look down at me. Now, for you as an individual, you were helped. Brother, that's not a problem. If you were helped, that's okay. I know some white folks who have helped me to a degree in the vaccine movement. They brought the information mm-hmm. to me about the vaccines harming black folks. It was white folks who brought that to me. But does that uh-huh. mean that I need to pedal to them and bow down to them? Hell no. I tell them straight oh, to no, their face. Necessarily. That's not they, what I'm doing. I'm that, definitely I, I know. Doing that for sure. I know. That, that's but what again, I'm saying to you, but, but I'm validating. What the opportunity that's given to me, what the opportunity mm-hmm. that's been given to me, I'm taking it, mm-hmm. running with it, and I know. And again, my that's, mom that's, took my that mom is up back to you. home in the South. My mom, and that is up to you. She said, never forget where you came from. And not only mm-hmm. that, you don't owe any mm-hmm. white person anything. You owe your race. Mm-hmm. So a lot mm-hmm. of the people, I just want to say this, a lot of the people that's that's in the comments calling me a pussy, I guarantee mm-hmm. you give me four or five years from now when I graduate and you see how many jobs I bring back to my community. So hey, you can brother, look at and, and be- say that I'm doing it the wrong way. But again, me mm-hmm. staying in Birmingham, Alabama, where I barely mm-hmm. had anything, and, I'm ta- and I took mm-hmm. an opportunity to move to Utah to make better for mm-hmm. my people, Come on, man. Like, like a lot of y'all people, y'all calling me pussy, but y'all the ones that are pussy sitting there me- putting messages out there like that. Well, well, brother, I'll tell you this, man. I'll tell you, and you're a young brother. You sound like, <laughs> well, how, how old are you? What, 21? You're 20, 21? 22. You're 22. You're a young brother. Yeah. Don't get your feelings hurt when your people respond a certain way. Like, you notice we talking like this. Don't, don't even yeah. worry about the comment. When you take your opportunity, if you feel that this is the best option for you to help your family, brother, do what you feel is best for you. Do what you feel is best for you. But but remember and understand that your people may not agree with that. But if you can show that you are loving your people and you can demonstrate it by actually doing something, if you do something for your people, you do. I'm talking about do something. You bring back something like you said, because we look at we listen that's, to that's you. That's the whole game. But I got a whole family back home. And, and, and mind you, and do, do your thing, brother. Do your thing. But just know the vast majority of your people are choosing not to do it that way. But if you are choosing to do it that way, that is perfectly fine. Live your truth. Live in your truth. But also be very mindful and be aware that the arena you are in and the avenue you are taking is an avenue that most black men take and most of them fail in because they no longer are able, are able to come back to their people as a black man. I'm just telling you this. So, wait, so be wait, mindful. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Most of them at some point will have to cower down and sell out. Most, but not all. Not all. Are you talking there about are many... in, the Mormon, in the Mormon church or? Oh, no. No, I'm saying as far as you getting. The route. The, the, the route. The route. Okay. Meaning having white people being the main people that help you. The, but, but, but there have been many white people who have helped black people to aid black people to do things for black people. It's possible. Exactly. It's possible. No, no, no. It's possible. So I'm not negating that because the fact is it is possible. It has happened. So for you, maintain your integrity of being a black man first and never allow them to disrespect you simply because they helped you. The moment Uh you feed, the moment you see that they are disrespecting you simply because they helped you, that is the moment where you will have to make a decision. You Uh will have to make a decision and you may have to have a plan B. Because you never want to be treated like a whore or a prostitute simply because you found a way to go and help your people. If they decide to disrespect you at a certain point, you need to be a black man and step on integrity and stand for your people and never sell yourself out just because of a goddamn position or an option or opportunity. You will always be able to make it and your people will back you up if you stand on integrity. So that's my advice on a brother. So keep doing what you do, but always maintain that integrity and that self-respect for yourself as a man uh-huh. and as a black man. And as you continue to move forward, brother, do it with God behind you. Always keep God at the forefront uh-huh. and you will, you will be successful, whether if it is that route or it is another route and your people will be proud of you.
So 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 with right. the so with so with the like again the Mormon religion, mm -hmm. what do you have like as far as like an opinion on that? Again, like you don't have to because I know like that's a personal thing right there. But like if mm -hmm. you don't mind, like what is your opinion on the Mormon religion? The Mormon religion has not benefited black people. Uh huh. That's just that's the that's not my opinion. That's the fact on it. That's now from, from, but, from the history, but, yeah. But there are individuals within the Mormon faith who have helped black people. Uh huh. So you can be that. Yeah. But other than that, I don't really have any opinion on the Mormon faith. A person okay. is not what they say they are. It is what they practice. So okay. you can say you're a Mormon. But if you practice devilishment, then you're not a Mormon. If I say I'm a Muslim, but I practice wickedness, I'm not a Muslim. So okay. I don't really care about the label. I care about the practice. And okay. if you live it, brother, if you live in a righteous manner, I don't care if you call yourself a Mormon, a Muslim, a Hebrew. You're my brother. And that's all okay. that matters to me. Okay, I had a hard time with that because for the most part, I lived in Philadelphia. Uh, yes, and sir. I served in Philadelphia. And mm -hmm. the, the the hardest thing for me to, like, gather is, like, you know, I've had a lot of people say the white man this, the white man is here to tear you down and stuff like that. But me, me in, these, in these neighborhoods, again, mm -hmm. I served in a neighborhood where people look just like me. And I'm walking around just trying to teach people, like, hey, if you don't even have a testimony in Jesus, like have a testimony in unity. Like we need to, we need to there you unify. Go. There you go. And but the people is like, That's I'm right. not gonna unify with somebody that worships a white Jesus. I don't worship a white Jesus. Like if anybody asks me how right. does Jesus look, I have no pictures of him, and I never mm -hmm. will say this is Jesus Christ right here. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So I okay. never had that. Well, so keep it's, studying, it's brother. Really, it's really hard. It's really hard to like want to propel like your people. When your mm -hmm. people aren't, aren't looking at the situation and saying, hey, you know what? I'm here to support you, whatever avenue you're taking. Like you are. Like even though I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a Mormon and you're a Muslim, you're supporting me mm -hmm. with the avenue that I'm taking. And that's hard to find people Absolutely. like that that's willing to say, hey, you know what? I may not agree with you, agree with like the route you're taking, mm -hmm. but I see where you're going mm -hmm. and I support that. Yes, sir. And brother, and, and, and that is how we're supposed to be with one another. And so you can use me as an example of one of those who helped to support you as long as you maintain integrity as a black man. And you know that the uh -huh. end goal is to help your people and, of course, to live a righteous life, period. That's it, man. Other than that, brother, all the other stuff, it doesn't matter to me. But we have to come together and unite, just like you said. That's all I care about. So, yeah. brother, continue to do what you're doing, man. Do it for the right reasons. Always keep God at the yes, forefront sir. of your mind and you'll be successful. I appreciate that. You have a good night, man. Right, yes, sir. You as well, brother. All right, bye. All right. All right, y'all. Now, listen. <laughs> I'm working on y'all. We're working on each other. I know, I know, I know. That was the first black Mormon I have ever spoken to. Our brother is learning. If he found something good in that and it's helping him and it's helping his people, I can't say, yeah, your experience is a lie. I, I can't say that. If the brother's experience has proven that it has helped him, then I can't. What, how, who am I to say? No, it hasn't helped you. Yo, if it helped him, it helped him. Simple as that. So let our brother learn. He's going to learn. If it helps him, fine. If it doesn't, fine. That is, that is what he will find out. That is what everyone will find out. If it works for you, fine. But I'm not going to sit here and go off my brother. He's a young brother. He's learning, man. We can go off and say a bunch. I could have said a bunch of stuff to him. But the brother gave a good point. He said, hey, this opportunity helped me. Okay. That's fine. We can all take a lot of opportunities. But I, as long as he maintains who he is, you a black man first. Okay. The moment they start disrespecting you, which eventually they will, maintain your integrity. Move out on what you believe. And do it for your people. That's all that matters. Other than that, I don't care about anything else. To be honest with you, everyone will be tested. So we can all say what we're going to say. Everybody, yeah, he this, he did. Okay. Everybody who is watching, you will be tested. Even with what you say, you believe. So I'm a Muslim. And I get hit from all angles. But I'll be damned if anybody tries to come at me. Anybody. And say, well, reason what you believe don't work. To hell with what you think. Look at the results of my life and tell me what I believe doesn't work. See what I'm saying? So five minutes and I'm off here, y'all. Five minutes and I'm off. But I love y'all, man. Y'all do your thing, man. 
And that's okay. The brother will learn one way or another, good or bad, like we all will. So don't come down on the brother. Educate them. If you really love your brothers and sisters, educate them. Teach them. Like I just did. That brother said, you're the first person, who, a black person who supported me. If what you're doing is right, and you're doing it, coming at it from the perspective of helping your people, okay. But if it start going a certain way, all right, brother. You got to make a decision. Okay, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh, Ms. Totally Jazz. I, man, we got to do one minute, y'all. One minute. <laughs> your brother is ready to go to sleep. Ah. But I do love y'all. understand that. It's a major thing for me. Peace. Is, this, is somebody there? Uh, I hear you typing. Hello? I don't think they can hear me. I don't think they can see that I'm looking right at him. <laughs> I don't think the sister saw I'm looking right at her. She did. I'm looking. <laughs> British black lady who wants educating recommend first book um british black lady sister greeny dot i e message to the black man read that yeah, yeah yeah we you know we're not gonna save everybody all right everybody's not gonna agree but you know just everybody's gonna learn okay next person real quick real quick la queen underscore underscore beauty bar uh oh i'm starting to slur i'm getting sleepy i'm slurring i'm getting sleepy ah Yo, I got to go to sleep. Hi. Peace, sister. How are you? Yes, I'm so glad that you added me in. <laughs> I'm honored. I'm honored. I have an Android, so whatever. <laughs> I do, too. Look, it's all, Don't worry about the Androids. We good. Okay, so <laughs> let me get this out. I am okay. from L.A., and you? I am a single black mother with three children. Okay. My, my, um, my dude is incarcerated, and my okay. dad died in jail. So I've been wow. suppressed for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. I never had a job. I never had a real job like that. So mm -hmm. I've always been like getting paid under the table. I've always mm -hmm. had this like thing where I don't want to work for the man at all just because mm -hmm. of the history that I got going on. Like Absolutely. I had a bad um, interaction with white people my whole life. Mm-hmm. And being black and living in Los Angeles, I should have been a part of the nation because the Christianity thing for me, it got mm -hmm. confusing. And I was like, Absolutely. Hold up. Like y'all not y'all not gonna tell me that this man is my grandmother had a Jesus in her her um living room and he was white. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And no, nah, that can't be. So mm -hmm. I I did my research and I started reading bigger, better books and mm -hmm. it is good white people in the world but not all of them are true some of them want to help us some of them want to help us find our way mm -hmm. you know so Very i just feel like i'm 27 years young and i've mm -hmm. been here this whole time working under the table i had probably two temporary jobs and i'm, I'm still surviving i'm still mm -hmm. paying for i've never had section eight i've never had anything wow. handed to me is what I'm saying. I've worked blood, sweat, and tears for all that I have. And I... I told you. Exactly. And I want to pass that down to my children. I want them to know the real. I don't want them to be brainwashed into the media. I don't want them to get sucked into all these devices yes. like iPads, television. Mm -hmm. um, you, I heard sound like a, you sound like MGT in the nation. It's what you sound like. Yes. <laughs> Just being honest with you. Thank like a you so much. So, um, yes. I did see, I seen you at the, at the, at the um, candlelight visual for Nipsey. Yes. And I did feel a lot of negative, negative vibes from that whole situation. And it still got me, it still got my head wound it up. Like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like it was a lot of, setup type shit going on excuse my mm. french mm -hmm. and um, i feel like he did have a very strong impact on his neighborhood Absolutely. you know what i mean very Absolutely. strong mm -hmm. i mean my mother listened to that every day she from la born and raised mm -hmm. my mom my mom is a product of la so 
my grandmother was from the South. Mm -hmm. She never allowed anybody mm -hmm. to uh, belittle her. She always stood strong on her 10 toes, yep. you know? So that's the type of woman that I ended up being. I take Absolutely. care of my kids. I keep them away from trickeries, mm -hmm. illusions, things that people, that the, the facade that people put up, the, side that the, the facade that media puts up, like with the Disneyland and the Disney movies, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like, I let my kids see some of your posts. And really? I told them, uh, <laughs> yes, I let them know because I was like, look, this is deep. You guys just right. think that it's a cartoon character, but they're making fun of us. Mm -hmm. They're making fun of us. And you don't want that. You don't want right. to be made fun of. Our skin is beautiful. Our hair textures is strong. We That's have right. the most durable hair. We can do anything with our hair. That's right. I let them know that a lot of um, white people max our inventions. And they told us that basically, oh, they invented this when it really, when it really was a black man. Mm -hmm. And that's why, I was like, you know, just so I felt strongly about this because I didn't grow up with a father figure in my life. Mm -hmm. So without that, I had maybe an uncle or a godfather, for instance, to guide me on this path that I'm on right now. Because I felt like if they wanna get if they wanna plant that seed, then I wouldn't have had the mind that I have today. I wouldn't be as strong as I am today to take right. care of my three children with no job, with no help from a father or at or anything at all. So mm -hmm. I'm a husband. By all as, means. As, yes, as you should be. And I well, feel me, like... Well, let me ask you this, sister. Did you have... Because um, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting sleepy now. I've been on there for three hours. I know. <laughs> so, I know, but I, but I want to talk to y'all. I want to talk to y'all. I, I had to. So is there a question you had um, about anything? Because one, I want you to be my guest at the mosque if you have time tomorrow. If you, if you have time. I live time. in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, Vegas. okay. Well, we we have we have a mosque there too in Vegas on uh, D Street. And I do want to know more about like where mm -hmm. I can find different um, grocery stores to buy mm -hmm. my food from because I have a son and I do not want him to be, you know, I don't want his food to be I don't want the girls' food to be contaminated. But I know that they're targeting mm -hmm. black males, so I know yeah. I need to be on top of my game as a parent. Mm -hmm. I do want to get more information about the nation and how to become a part of the nation because honestly I know that you guys have some dedications and mm -hmm. rules and requirements or whatever the situation is but I'm willing to change my life I'm willing to walk down the right path because I was on the right path before but I mm -hmm. was blinded by the illusions that they were you know we that they were yeah so. <laughs> As you see, I have L I'm trying to develop a beauty bar because mm -hmm. I love I love hair, I love eyelashes, I love nails. That's something mm -hmm. that I can find myself really doing. So um, you can make a lot of money I, doing that too. Yes, exactly. So I want mm -hmm. to want my business to grow, but I also want to I want to deter I want my faith to be to one source. I want I my faith that. my faith to be to one source because I know that there's a higher being and I know that mm -hmm. I need to find the right higher being. So Absolutely. I guess you guys have the utmost knowledge. I've been reading, I've been following, I've been keeping up and mm -hmm. I strongly feel like the nation is like the only, I don't know, but other people may be acting, you know, dumbfounded and lost. I'm not dumbfounded and lost. I know where I want to go. Absolutely. And I and I agree with you, sister. And I believe that if you come to the mosque, I believe you'll find exactly what it is that you're looking for. And it's not an obligation to join. And no, you go and learn. And if it, no, if it, if it feels right. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Go go to the mosque right out there on D Street tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Tell them that you're my guest and you'll just learn. And if at, you know, at, at a certain point in time as you're going every Sunday and on Saturdays and just learning, Whenever you go, if you feel that it moves you to join, then do that. But there is no obligation to do nothing. You can go just learn. You can go for the rest of your life on Sundays and just I be. Honestly, want to know, 
because I seen on one of your posts, you went to a store and it wasn't many people in that store or it wasn't many uh, products, but those were, uh, it was a nation store. Oh yeah. Black only. Okay. We have a couple of them. Um, the grocery store, I think that was when I was in Atlanta, our grocery store mm -hmm. right there in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you guys going to be able to put more of that up? I wanted to see mm -hmm. if we can honestly create our own social networking because I see how they doing this on here and I don't like it one bit. And oh, I yeah, we're working on all of that. We're working on all of it right now, as a matter of fact. But but I do recommend the first thing you do, go to the mosque out there. Out there, and out here in Vegas. Out there in Vegas, yep, right on D Street. If you just Google Nation of Islam Las Vegas, it will give you the exact address. And when you go there tomorrow morning, let them know Brother Reza Islam invited me. I'm just, you know, here to learn it. It starts at 11. So when you walk in, you know, the meeting will start. And you're just sitting there and learn. It's usually about an hour and a half. And you can go every Sunday and just learn. And learn, learn, learn. And that's it. And be, and be a part so of the brotherhood. Sure. I know Absolutely. you try. <laughs> I see it all in your face. I'm sorry. I don't <laughs> that's but... okay. No, but I, but I'm, honored to, I'm honored to speak with you, sister, because, you know, this is a point in your life where you need to know where you're going. You have little ones. And you really want to take things more serious. And that's a beautiful thing. So I, I'm honored to be patient with you because you're serious about doing something. So that's, and that's, so and that's my job. Kids. I used to drive in the neighbor. I see your videos and it looks like you like live in the same neighborhood as my grandparents. So mm -hmm. it's, um, I have a set of grandparents and I'm like, dang, that look like he had, um, Miss Betty house. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... But you know what? It's a familiar area is right off Western. I don't know if mm -hmm. you off Western, but yeah, it looks mm -hmm. like, you know, I grew up in that area. So I'll that's why I feel strong about your enlightenment on the world and on all these followers that you have. I am, mm -hmm. I'm all for it. I always tell people to follow you. I always tell them like, look, that. if you need any enlightenment, go follow brother reason right now. Cause he knows wow. what's up. I appreciate that. sis. That means a lot Thank to me. And I'm, and I'm glad you're doing it. And inshallah, God willing, one day we'll meet very soon. So thank you no, so no much. Trip, but, but start by going to the mosque because you want to be around other like-minded sisters and brothers like yourself. Okay. okay. All right. Thank so you. Have a good thing, night. Absolutely. You as well. One left. Peace. We family, y'all. We family, family. All right. Next person, real quick. All right, y'all. Let's keep it to a minute. I know it's been a minute. I'm trying to hurry up. Trying to hurry up. Um, Ms. Totally Jazz. All right, y'all. I'm almost done. You better got to go to sleep because I got to go to the mosque in the morning. Y'all. Oh. Mm. Can you see me? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see me really? Uh, nope, I can't see you at all now. Well, <laughs> I can hear you. My though. name is Miss TJ. Hello? Okay. Yep, I can hear you. My name is Miss TJ. Okay. How you doing, Miss TJ? Um, I'm fine. <laughs> I just want to stress the importance of staying on code. Black number mm. one. When you see a black brother, black sister, you say hello. I don't care what color right. they have on. I don't care if they have no shoes on. Stay on right. code by respecting your race of people. We are the that's only right. race of people that don't do that. And we need to get out of that. Because that's going to be the, the right. first line of unity. Is being able to say hi. How you doing? That's right. That's right. So I just want to right. stress that. And also I want to stress sometimes you got to return the hate. I hate to say it because <laughs> unless I hate to say it, sometimes you have to because it's not working as being so peaceful and forgiving. It's not working. Mm. So yeah, sometimes you got to return the hate. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you're right. You got to stand on your truth. Got to stand strong. Right, you got to stand on, I mean, when I say you got to return the hate, meaning that if somebody's being evil to you and they don't see that they're being evil to you and treating you in a certain way continuously from generation to generation, it's never mm -hmm. going to stop until you return it. That's when right. they can Defend see yourself. for themselves mm -hmm. how you feel, they walk your path. So mm -hmm. when I say to return the hate, return it, you know, mm -hmm. you have to. We have to, in yourself. order for right. them to understand, hey, enough is enough. Because this marching and this um, speaking and all of that don't work. And Let them see the what time. they do and how they...
how we feel. You agree? Mm -hmm. I understand. Self-defense, that's where it is now. We can't bow down no more. Yeah, it's not just self-defense. What I'm saying, you have to, you know, mm -hmm. um, return the favor. You know what I'm saying? You got to, not really favor, return the, um, the, res the, the feeling, the yes, feeling so, so yes. they can feel how it feels. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have to. Because they don't see it. They don't get it. And it's been centuries. It's been 400 years and they still don't get it. Mm -hmm. Now it's the, okay? Mississippi, Beautiful. a lot of things went wrong. But I was raised by parents that said, okay, enough is enough. And now in Mississippi, mm -hmm. it's 75% black. And there's a reason for that. Because they got tired mm -hmm. of it and they started returning what they was doing to them. So you hang us, right. you'll see hang uh, somebody hanging you, your kid, your child right. come up missing, things like that. It I happens. hate to say that, but sometimes you have to, an eye for an eye. And it's got to be balanced. If it's never balanced, you're going to always get the short end of the stick. Mm. And I'm not militant. I'm not a black nationalist. I'm just being real. I hear you. I'm tired of seeing us brother apologizing for something they did they should be so sorry for and begging us for forgiveness. Mm. No, I'm sorry in a favor. Turn, return what they give them so they can feel the same pain you feel. I hear you, and sister. Enough said. That's, That's right. all. Thank you, sister, for calling <laughs> in. Thank you. <laughs> and you get some sleep, girl. I know it's, it's early out there. No, but your 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 uh, <laughs> palm cats are a very very enlightening. I'm a I'm a I'm, I'm for my race. I appreciate my that. My race first, black people first. And um, right. it's a it's, it's a generational thing. You have to teach each other, our kids, our you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The kids teach their kids. And once we start this right. behavior, it it becomes secondary. So you start yes. saying, you know, John, my son, my John, whoever your kid is, um, you know, Mustafa, I want you to go and uh, be nice to your own the people that look like you. Quit being so nice to everybody mm -hmm. else. You take care of your own. Give this to him. Don't mm -hmm. give it to him. You know what I'm saying? Marry her. Don't marry her. What you marrying her for? Right. She cared nothing about That's you. That's right. You know what I mean? She never cared anything about you. Love, self, and kind. So you got to start raising mm -hmm. the children in the right, in the way of being pro, pro blackness, pro. That's right. Uh, you know, black, black first. Black first. Pro. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Yes. And this, and this right, violence sister. against each other will stop because it takes. That's right. The parents, the mother, the mother of these children to say, hey, enough is enough. we mm -hmm. got to raise our kids to say, hey, you are black and you're going to be shunned all over this earth until you understand to put your race first. Once they start seeing you guys respecting yourself and loving yourself and, and treating them second, you know, they'll fall in line and, and believe who's first and who's really the, the people of the earth, the first true. people of the earth. You know what I mean? That's true. Thank you, sister. Okay, that's enough. That's, that's, enough that's, that's the straight truth. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, sister. Oh, what's, the, what's your book title, last but not least? Oh, yes. Uh, Message to the Millennials. Oh, Message okay. to Got the Millennials. It. Yep. It's right there in the, in the bio. Link in my bio. Okay. I'm going to order yeah. one. Thank you so much, sir, for that. You have a great day. Thank and, you, sister. Um, what's the word? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. All right, sister. Bye. Peace. Bye. I love y'all, man. We crazy as hell. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. It's real. We, we crazy as hell, but when we speak the truth, we speak the truth. And the truth is the truth. Sometimes people don't like to hear the truth. It's just the truth, though. Sorry. Sometimes it hurts people's feelings, but when we speak the truth, man, we speaking the truth. All right. I got two more people real quick. I know y'all like reason to get some sleep. I am. I'm going to go right to sleep. Whoever hops on his live right now, make it quick. Make it quick, y'all. Aquarius underscore 44. Aquarius guy 44. Make it quick, y'all. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Your brother got to go to sleep. I got to go to the mosque. Ah. Let me salam, brother Nicholas. I see you. Brother Visa. Uh, my brother. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. How's it going, brother? <laughs> Man, all is well, brother. I'm about to, I'm about to get some sleep in a second. <laughs> all right, man. I'm, I just got something quick for you, brother. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know of anybody that's in the nation besides yourself that knows uh, G Kung Do at all? Uh, do, oh, yes. Do you, do you think brother um, uh, Elijah Farrakhan knows it? 
he he does know a little of that. Um, he primarily trains in VSK Jiu Jitsu. Okay. Uh, but uh, our one of our grandmasters, brother uh, Sabir Muhammad, uh, formerly known as Steve Muhammad, he he trains. Uh, he has Jeet Kune Do as a part of his system. My bad, I'm at right. work right now, but it's That's all right. good. I'm talking to Brother Reese, so I ain't worried about it. Hey, hey, I, hey don't, don't get fired, <laughs> brother. That's all I care about. Don't lose your job. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. That, oh, I'm good, man. The weekends is chill. It's just me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, no, yeah, we have a lot of brothers all throughout the nation who know uh, Jeet Kune Do. Okay. All brothers. right. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. I'm definitely going to try my best to make it to the next event, man. Uh, okay. I believe it's in uh, Chicago. Uh, you're coming to Chicago soon, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. On the, uh, the 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 Unity Tour, the African Diaspora Unity Tour. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna mm-hmm. try my best to make it there, man. Because I need the I need the information, man. You know. Yes, sir. And I want to uh, have the pleasure of meeting you in person, family. But that's all I got for you, man. And I keep doing what you're doing for man. us, man. We appreciate you. I appreciate you, my brother. I'm gonna I'm gonna see you soon. All right, brother. All right, my brother. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Right. Wa salam. Man, love y'all, man. We good. We we good, family. Honduras Haughty. Honduras Haughty. Real quick, sister. I know, real quick. 60 seconds. 30 seconds. Hello? Uh-oh. Peace, sister. You driving? No. <laughs> okay, okay. How you doing? Fine. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Hello. Oh, there you go. Now I can see you. How you doing? Fine. Good. Good, sister. Are you in? I just wanted to say that I like what you're doing, and I've been watching you for a minute, and keep up that good work. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And you're you're in Honduras? No, I'm not right now. <laughs> no. No, because it just says that, so I don't know. So uh, so where where are you from? That's you where I was asking. born. That's where Beautiful. I was born. Yeah. Beautiful. That's good. Okay, well, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay, bye again. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Ah, she's so adorable. <laughs> she's like, I appreciate you. Good night. <laughs> y'all, y'all cool, man. All right, y'all, listen. Um... I'm going to go to sleep, all right? I'm going to go to sleep. I know if you didn't get to go on live, I know you've probably been waiting a long time. I know. I apologize. Let's get it next time I hop on. But your brother has to go to sleep. I've been on live on and off for maybe the last three hours. Just about the last three hours. Uh, No, I'm not courting anyone to answer your question. So I'm going to sleep. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I vibe with y'all. I rock with y'all. I roll with y'all. Wave with y'all. Whatever you're going to call it, we cool. We good. But your brother got to get some rest uh, because I do things in real life, not just on this computer and social media tip. So, um, yes, have integrity. Be powerful. Love yourself. Love your people. Be respectful, but don't be a coward. Be powerful, but be humble. All right. Make sure you keep everything together and keep pushing through because y'all got this. It don't matter what situation you're in. Y'all got this. Trust me when I say y'all got this. Link in my bio to order my book. After I get off of here, go to the link in my bio, pre-order my book, message to the millennials, and I will see y'all very soon, man. Peace. Assalamu alaikum.